Okay, so now I will create, I, will, I want to create a line. And then how many points do we need? Two. two. So to set up a two point, I'll just double click here. And I type point. Actually, this one is the same thing in parameter and this X point. So if you don't know where it is, simply go to parameters, geometry, and actually they are all basic uh, geometries are here. Basically parameters. And then to set a point, just right mouse button click and set one point, and I probably located somewhere near zero, zero, zero. And I will create another point to copy and paste existing components or parameters, simply select it, the color changes to green, and I'll use Ctrl C and Ctrl V, and then you can copy one. So actually this one has same point at the same location, so I will change the second point by using set one point and I'll draw a second point somewhere here. So and then let's see what is the data type look like. And then so I will going to use panel which is here or double click on your window and I type panel. And I will drag, I will connect it by clicking left mouse button here and then connect it and what is the result yes what does that mean by zero here at the top corner zero means it is at the top branch the zero indexed branch and the first element which is indexed zero has three numbers inside and two really uh, can I do it? actually a uh, grasshopper has a tool to show the data structure which is this one. This one is parameter viewer. I simply drag it here and I will connect it again. And then this one says that data with one branch, which means first branch. And n is one. What does that mean is it has only one element inside. So the first, what is the first index of Just this one. Okay, so and then I will copy this one, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. The reason why I'm doing this one, if you double click it, it will show visually the structure. So this one saying that the first branch has a data. So uh, until you are ready, let's say for the first, let's say for a month, whenever you make something, always attach these three components. So visually we can check not the value or not the number, but because we want to check its data structure. Yes?
How about other guys? Are you still the same thing? Yeah, yeah you have the this in here. You have reference point. But how about the other two things? Uh, parameter viewer, do you see the data with one branch? And this one visualized it? And said n equals one. Okay, in n is one? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Then which means you have one point there. Yeah. Okay, so you have these two. So I'll copy all these things. Wait, how are you going to show data with one branch? Uh, double click it. If you double click it, it will show text or visually. This one, just tr the icon look like tree. So I copy using Control C and Control V, and I reconnect that. So I want to see the value and data structure. Wait, wait sorry, you copied it, but how did you connect? It Select them, Control C, Control V. Yeah, I did that, but then how did you connect it to the next point? You have to reconnect everything. Oh. So our two input data is ready. So I, what I'm going to do is I draw a line. So I line, so I double click it. I type line. There are many lines here. So I will select this one that a line and with a white dot point, which is create a line between two points. And then you will see this one. Then I will connect one point and the other point. Then actually you will see the green line between two points. So everybody has this one so far. And then I will also double check what is the data, data type of the output of line using panel. So panel, it has one line, same data structure, it has each element at the zero indexed level and uh, using parameter viewer which is look like tree it has also one data one branch I control and copy when I connect it and double click it does this one has one data branch here So let's just say we have four point. So this one is basic line. 